You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. Almighty and everlasting God, you're the mighty God. You're the all powerful God. You're all the mighty God. You're all gracious God. You're all merciful God. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the ancient of days. You are the eternal rock of ages. You are the great I am that I am. You have never lost a part. You are the Lord strong and mighty, you are the Lord mighty in battle, you are the Lord of hosts. You are the man of war, you are the God that answered by fire, you are the consuming fire. Father, Lord, I present to this spiritual breakfast unto you, and I ask that today, Father God Almighty, you will arise in your mercy and compassion, and your grace and touch lives, touch all my listeners, touch our lives and the life of all your listeners worldwide and taught them at the point of their needs, and perfect everything concerning them. Father, with the blood of everlasting covenant, perfect everything concerning your children, all over the whole world, and all, all over the whole world, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will turn all the glory for all the honor and worship of thanks for what we're going to do today, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I will turn all the glory for all the previous spiritual breakfast, and everything you did in our lives and the lives of all your children worldwide. I return all the glory, all the honor, all the worship, praise and thanks. Receive all the glory, all the honor, all the worship, praise and thanks. And let all the blessings be ours in Jesus' name. And that which have done in all the previous spiritual prayers, Father, let it, let, it, let, it last for, let it last forever. That which have done in our lives, in the life of the children worldwide, in all the previous spiritual prayers, Father, let it last forever. In the name of Jesus, and that which we are going to do today in our lives and the lives of the children over the world, but I let it last forever and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And take all the glory, all the honor, all the bishop, praise the thanks. And let all the blessings be ours in Jesus' most powerful name. Amen and amen and amen. Once again, I welcome you to today's spiritual breakfast, the program that ushers into your daily blessings. And I ask that God will touch your life. God will perfect everything concerning me. God will counsel every plan of the enemy concerning your life. And God will perfect that which has ordained concerning you. That which has ordained when you created you. God will perfect it and bring it to come to pass in the name of Jesus. And all your enemies that are rising against you, God will silence them forever and forever in the name of Jesus. God will perfect the silence. God will perfect the silence of your enemy and the, the destruction forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, I, I pray that God will touch your lives. And anything that will cause you to, to lose your blessing will never come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Once again, I welcome to spiritual breakfast. We are still on the topic. The extraordinary powers of the blood of Jesus. Today is part two. The extraordinary powers of the blood of Jesus. Today is part two. And our text is taken from Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 21. It says, make you perfect in every good works to do his will. Walking in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and forever. Amen. In the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus, and by the mandate of heaven upon my life, I invested me. I declare a command and prophesy that the Lord will perfect everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus, he will perfect everything he has ordained you to be. From the foundation of the world, God will perfect it. In the name of God, God will, God will destroy every plan of enemy that has been working in your life. Today, I terminate those activities, those plans of enemy. I terminate it forever in the name of God. Everything that has been working against you, against your destiny, your glory, your star, your marriage, your business, your ministry, your, 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 your life, your calling, 
your greatness. I am terminated by the blood of the everlasting covenant. I am terminated by the blood of Jesus. And I answer that which God has ordained for you will begin to come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon my life and by the powers invested in me, I declare and I command that the Almighty God will go before you and make every crooked path, play every crooked places in your life straight and break in pieces the gates of brass in the name of Jesus and cut in sunder the bars of iron, the bars of iron and perfect everything concerning you spiritually. Perfect everything concerning you spiritually. Spiritual answers to the physical. The spiritual brings the physical into place. God will perfect everything concerning you spiritually as He has ordained for you and for every member of your family in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. And every power that be fighting you spiritually, they shall be arrested. I command them be arrested in the name that's above every the name of Jesus. I command them be arrested in the name of Jesus. And I paralyze them in the name of Jesus. I paralyze them from head to toe in the name of Jesus. I bind them with chains of fire and fetters of fire in the name of Jesus. And I command the stones of fire to crush and destroy them in the name of Jesus. And I, I declare and I command the stone of death to kill and destroy them in the name of Jesus. And I glue their feet to the ground with divine magnets in the name of Jesus. And I, call, I cage them. I command them to be caged by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. And I command them to be destroyed forever. And I command their destruction to be perfected in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. By the mandate of heaven upon the powers invested in me, I declare and I command and I prophesy that the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, with the blood of everlasting covenant, will heal you and perfect you. The perfect will heal and perfect your foundation. I declare and I command and I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon the power invested in me, that the Almighty God will heal you and perfect everything concerning your foundation with the precious blood of your and it will it will purge your foundation of everything that does not glorify him and perfect your foundation to begin to function as ordained by God and bring your destiny into, into effect in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, as that the blood of your lasting covenant will perfect your foundation and perfect your destiny in the name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon the power invested in I declare a command and I prophesy that the Almighty God will perfect His plans and purpose for your life. He will perfect His plans and purpose for your life. Anything He has not ordained concerning you, anything He has not ordained concerning your wife, your whole children, your grandchildren, your children, everything He has not ordained concerning your marriage, concerning your marriage, concerning your business, God will destroy them. The blood of everlasting covenant, the blood of Jesus, we destroy them from their fruits. We destroy them from their roots in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will perfect everything concerning you as ordained by Him in accordance to His will. In the mighty name of Jesus. And God will bring to pass, we bring to come to pass His blessings and favor. He has ordained for you and your generation yet unborn. From the foundation of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Remo Shakamando, Remando, Rimaraki Mando, Shakanda, Rimakando. Every plant God has not planted in you, God will all prove by fire. Every God plant that God has not planted in your marriage, everyone guarding against your marriage, guarding against, against the will of God for your marriage, God will all prove them. God will all prove them in His anger, His fury and wrath. He will prove them and cross and destroy them and destroy them forever, and you shall see them no more. And God will perfect that we concise you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I want to ask you, I want to advise you to make peace with God right now. In prayer adventure, you're not a child of God, you're not a born again Christian. I want you to confess your sins and come to ask you and ask God to forgive you and cleanse you and purge you with his precious blood. I want you to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior and Master so they can so they shall be well with you and so that the decrees come today. We come to pass in your Lord, the decrees, the command and the prophecy of God. We come to pass in your life in the name of just by the mandate of heaven upon my Lord, the powers invested in me. I declare and I command that the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, will perfect you in every good work to do His will, working in you that which is well pleasing His sight through Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. God will perfect everything concerning you. It will be well with you. I declare it is well and will forever be well with you. That which has not been working with you will begin to work for you in the name of Jesus. And God will open doors of mercy, doors of compassion, doors of grace upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is where our program will end today. I see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. Nigeria time. God bless you and God bless you richly. 
in Jesus' name.